So great, you made it halfway. This is the third tutorial on how to make your shots more filmic. So this is the shot we'll be working on today. This is the before, this is the after. Again, this is super underexposed, but uh, this is how I want it to be. So I'm not trying to uh, get all the details in the shadows because I'm not interested to see what's there, okay? I'm only interested to see his uh, silhouette and uh, the light right here through the window. Okay, so let's press F7 on Windows to make a new variant. As always, bring the sharpening all the way down because we don't need all that detail. Luminance down, single pixel up. You don't always have to do this, okay? But since the shot uh, is gonna be a little bit noisy because it's a shot at ISO 2500, and I'm gonna bring a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force the, the details in the shadow a little bit. I'm gonna bring them back. So since we we are recovering uh, a lot of information in the shadows, it's gonna be a little bit noisy. Okay. So as we can see, I could have I could have exposed this a little bit brighter. Yeah. But that's not a problem. Okay. So first things first, brightness all the way up. I only need to see a line, the line of his face. I'm not trying to bring up all the details, you know, like right there, because I'm not interested in that. Okay, so I brought the brightness all the way up, shadows a little bit up, exposure a little bit up, cool. Then crush the whites just a little bit, cool. Or a little bit more, <laughs> depends how you like it. Good. Maybe the shadow is just a little bit more like that, like so, cool. Okay, okay, good. So if you look here, if you zoom in, you can see there is a lot, a lot of noise. So maybe, maybe add a little bit more luminance. If we, if we bring down the single pixel, we can see there are a lot of white dots and some uh, hot pixels, but just bring it all the way up and it's cool, no problem good so what we're trying to do here is make all the yellows more like a uh, pinkish vibrant look and the blues somewhat green like cyan green whatever and these are violets at the moment okay so that that being said what you could do just go to the color editor and in this last uh, square just go to the hue and do this, okay? But not all the way up, just a little bit. Cool, like so. Add more green in the highlights. Cool. Mm. Go into the, let's check. It's right here in the blue. Maybe a little bit in right there in the magenta. Okay, so the blue ones right there. Saturation, not all the way up, but you know. Okay, cool. I'll add a little bit more green. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Go back to the violet. You can't really see that because it's right there. See, it's right that one, that part. So it's super, super small, but it's important to just like, yeah. I'll bring the greens a little bit down because I want to get the blue. Uh, the violet or whatever this patch is to be a little bit more to the green side cool something like that and now let's go into the yellow into the <laughs> and now let's go into the yellow and uh, shift it a little bit to red like so cool mm, should we add more color into the shadows not that we really want to, but something like that. Okay. Cool. There you go. Okay. So that's it. There you have it. This is the before, this is the after. Super simple, super easy, super simple and fast. 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Goodbye.